So why do we need a data warehouse? I'm like asking, why do we need BI at all? Why do we need BI? Give, yeah, give an answer like uh, to, to the business question, to make uh, business decisions. Um, so again, why do we need a data warehouse? We have here two sentences. One says, let the software run the business. The other says, let the business run the software. Um, what does it mean? Imagine again that you have like many departments in my company, all of them like have like their own model, their own like space that they're living in, that driving uh, their decisions. It's really nice. Marketing probably will uh, increase uh, the, the clicks uh, for a specific campaign or like the ROI. Uh, customer service will improve the uh, average handling time of, uh, of uh, their calls and uh, sales will probably uh, get uh, more revenue. But does it really answer like your business questions, what your business uh, wants to achieve? Probably not. You need the business around the software. For that, you need to put all this data in one place to drive like real decisions out of your data. So, scalability issues. Uh, yeah, you want uh, to integrate uh, as much uh, data uh, as, as you can. You want to keep uh, historical data. Let's say that uh, your uh, Salesforce uh, API doesn't allow you to, uh, to pull more than a year uh, uh, of data at once, you want to keep historical data, that's one uh, solution. Data consistency. Well, net revenue you can get from ad groups, net revenue you can get from your cell system, and uh, I don't know, probably a business development can present you another, another uh, figure. Somehow you want to have like, your data consistent around, uh, among all business. So when your CFO is coming, you tell him, okay, this is our real net revenue, okay? You can doubt that, you can have like a little argument, but uh, we we'll talk later on on uh, data governance and uh, say how we can uh, handle that. Um, yeah, of course, as I mentioned, uh, answer your business questions. To be able to do like uh, really good uh, self-service BI across all the organization. So it means that you have uh, your uh, data uh, model, model, multiple data model schemas uh, in, one, in one place. You can easily connect it to one uh, reporting tool and uh, to uh, do a good self-service BIs for uh, your end users. Data mining, also related to uh, keep historical data. Imagine that you have uh, the last two year historical data of your, uh, um, give another example with customer service of uh, the, uh, the calls they receive per day. For each one year, you can predict half a year, I would say, yeah? Something like that. Um, performance, you don't want to like hit your uh, live, uh, um, uh, live database, so like live uh, applications, uh, and of course like a good uh, index data warehouse will uh, query uh, your data way faster, which is a really good experience for uh, your end user. No one uh, wants like to open a dashboard and see like, yeah, you know, the loading circles like uh, turning around and around. And again, when you don't need a data warehouse, if you need your data now, uh, get, I don't know, an ask for, answer for a specific uh, questions without any uh, long term, that doesn't involve like too many other departments. That uh, might be uh, one uh, reason. You just need a proof of concept, uh, I don't know, to, to say, uh, okay, I want to know if uh, to run marketing campaign around this product. Maybe it's enough to use only the ad groups data. Don't use data warehouse for that. Or like to serve a single area in the business. If you are sure that if you are sure that there is like a, one question you have to deal with, one problem to solve, don't start integrating all the data. It will just cost you money. Um, yeah, data warehouse doesn't mean that it's uh, not uh, agile. You can still uh, um, uh, uh, develop and get uh, data warehouse done, performing good and like really with good data models in like less, uh, yeah, less than two months, like only a few weeks. Uh, but the only problem is like maintenance. You will have to keep maintaining the data in it, keep maintaining like the ETL processes, keep communicating like uh, new uh, terms and definitions with your end users and uh, of course uh, making sure that it's performing good. Yeah, so there are a couple other other reasons I think a data warehouse is interesting. I mean actually non-agile, um, I think you may increase being agile, like you may be able to switch now some of your technologies that you always want to get rid of. Let's say you didn't like your email provider you know, but you kept them around because that's where all your information was about email performance and whatnot. You know, now that you have your data in a data warehouse, you may be able to switch out these systems and plug something else. And um, then there are the other ones like Salesforce or so, or maybe you use a different system like Salesforce and you want to switch over. 
But uh, having a having a structured place for your data, you can now through a uh, good ETL tool figure out how your new system connects to your historic data and continue having your data all in one place and having that don't lose any kind of information. Uh, another good reason I think to own your data is that uh, we are in the 21st century and um, a lot of companies out there are very valuable because they own their data, they know their customers. So if you are thinking of buying another company or you're thinking of at some point selling your company uh, or merging with a different company, um, it's very critical that you own your data and the company coming in wanting to buy you asking you where all your information is, you don't have to send them to Salesforce support. Um, that's a, that can be a deal breaker for some of these. And uh, that's, so it's, it's very important that you have, like this is 20, year 2016, like your data is a huge asset to your company. You know, I think treat it like that and, and keep it in a very safe, uh, very good place. On, um, I think a data warehouse doesn't need to be this like, uh, you, you're not going to buy this rack and put it next to the restroom and you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy it and a blinking light on it, right? That's not the data warehouse that we're talking about anymore. Um, you, can, it, you can scale it quickly. It's going to be cloud-based. It's going to be very affordable. And um, that's a huge differentiator. And I think sometimes you may have to convince someone in your company that it's, uh, you know, this is not $100,000 upfront. This is actually, we, we, we pay as we go kind of service and all that, that has been a huge game changer in the last couple of years.